now uh, if you have opened any excel sheet right you will see this uh, small boxes these small boxes are called cell and what do you see here 1 1 1 2 2 2 2 what is it called so these are called coordinates there is an x coordinate and there is a y coordinate okay now a combination of an x and y coordinate is a cell in excel okay i will come to row and column name you know in a bit so if you see this is row number 1 and column number 1 now row and column is one way of where people use to define what you see here horizontally and vertically but there are other ways also some might call it fields some might call the column as fields okay so fields and columns are actually used interchangeably okay some might call the row as indexes now this is what the core uh, the most uh, minimum or you know um just like you know our protons and neutrons the most simple thing in excel is a cell right this is where you will store your information and uh, any operations that you have to do you do it on a cell okay okay the next is range now if you observe here every time i move my cursor to different cells right something here changes in the name box do you see it it changes right i'll tell you why uh, it is uh, a number and alphabet okay so this is how you define this cell this cell is called a1 which is column 1 row 1 this is called a2 a3 now why it is not number and number just imagine if it was 1 it was we call 1 1 right this cell is called 1 11 right there will be other then other 11 also here 1 1 1 it is too confusing okay that's why it is like uh, you know an alphabet you can store 1048576 number of records you see this what you do is just press control and down it will take you to the last row which is 1048576 that's the number of records you can store in excel anything beyond it you can't store it okay that's why excel is not used as a data storage for big data systems because obviously big data will have more than 1 million records right or the in, according to the indian or british metric system it is 10 lakhs 10.48 lakh records and the number of columns go till xfd um i don't know the number yeah 116 384 that's correct kanishka so it is 1048576 rows and 16384 columns okay okay now here <coughs> what i've done is uh, i've just named this as a1 b1 the cell names right if i if i move my cursor here you will see a crosshair a black crosshair right and i can drag it horizontally and i can drag it vertically also. right i can drag it vertically what you see highlighted is called the range of cells okay this is called the range of cells and how do you define a range a range is defined as the first column first row the cell name of the first column first row and the cell name colon cell name of the last column last row so here this black box that you see the cells range is e5 colon g7 e5 first column first row and last column last row of this range is g7 okay why is a range important let's say you have a table like this okay a dash b dash c dash are the columns a b c are the rows and there are some values now i'll ask you to sum all these right 
so i can use whenever you want to write a function in excel you start with the equal to sign okay you start with equal to sign sum okay it says adds all the numbers in a range of cells sum you can just drag it like this you see this it's a range e10 colon g12 and then close the bracket is 27 okay so this is so we know what cell is you know what range is now let's look at what uh, what is table table is a combination of rows and columns correct what you see here is a table okay there's a customer id first name last name orders and sales okay this is what a table is as i said columns are also called as fields and rows are also called as observations or index indexes okay if someone is using observations or fields you should know that they are talking about rows and columns array is actually not defined in excel per se okay it is not a term that is used in excel but customer this right from a1 to e e1 a1 to e1 this is one array one horizontal array okay so customer id becomes a vertical array first name becomes a vertical array last name becomes a vertical array orders becomes one array Sales becomes an array, right? It is not, you know, a technical term that is used in Excel, but you might find it. Uh, you might find people using it, uh, and that's the reason why an array is a collection of uh, similar type of elements. Which is that's what the definition of an array is. It can be single-dimensional or multi-dimensional. 